Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we want to calculate the radius of the semicircle that's inscribed in this right triangle. Now, we see the image here. We got a semicircle inscribed in a right triangle. We have AC has a length of 1, and AB has a length of square root of 2. And we want to find the radius of that semicircle. So I want to see if you can solve that problem, but if you can't, we're just going to dive in or you just want to watch on through. Okay, first step, let's go write down what we know. The length of AB is the square root of 2. The length of AC was equal to A1. Now we know, we can see this is a right triangle and we have a length of 1 square root of 2. This is a common right triangle, a 45, 45, 90 triangle. 1, 1 square root of 2. So CB is also equal to 1. I'm going to say it's congruent here, like that. And let's say this is equal to 1. Because of that, we know our angles here of CBA. CBA is equal to CAB. And they're both equal to 45 degrees. So we can put that down here. I'll note 45 degrees right there. All right, so now let's go draw really our radius to this point of tangency that's happening right there. If I can do a free hand out, you know, I got this nice little handy ruler. Let's just do it, make it all nice and clean. All right, we got our radius here. We don't know what that is. Let's call it R, okay? Now we know at this point it's tangent to a circle, meaning we know that the radius here, this tangent goes in, it's going to be perpendicular. Uh, it's going to be a right angle right there. Now the two tangents theorem basically tells us that and two lines that come from the same point that are tangent to the circle are congruent. So let's call this circle, center of the circle M, and this is N right here, so we can get some labels here. That means that CB is congruent to NB. So uh, let's go to that. one here, so that means it has a length of one, and so the length of NB is also equal to one here. Now, like I said before, the tangent to a circle theorem gave us that the angle MNA is gonna be a right angle. But what does that help us here? Tell us, well, we have 45 degrees for that angle CAB. That means also we got a 45 degree right here of AMN. So A angle AMN is also equal to 45 degrees. Now, how does that help us? Well, again, we have another 45, 45, 90 triangle, right? 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degree triangle, meaning that AN is congruent to MN. So AN is congruent to uh, MN, which means that AN, that length is equal to length R, our radius. So if we can find the length of AN, we can find the radius of our semicircle. And this is where it's kind of nice and easy. We know the length of AB, the length of AB is equal to the sum of the parts. So we have is equal to the length of AN plus the length of NB. Well, AB has a length of square root of two that was given from the beginning. The length of AN we know is R, our radius, right? Because they're congruent to MN, which we already shown, plus the length of NB. NB coming down is a length of one. We already got that. Makes it pretty easy. R by itself now is equal to the square root of two minus a one to subtract one of both sides, or congruent to or approximately, sorry, not congruent, <laughs> approximately 0.4142. Two. But I like to keep it more exact. And there we have it. We have the radius of our semicircle came out to be equal to the square root of 2 minus 1. Now, wasn't that the answer that you got? If you did get the same answer, great. And if you got it a different way, well, let me know down in the comment section below. If you didn't get this answer, hopefully this video is informative for you and I earned your subscription to make these more fun videos and you learned something there. So, as always, thanks for watching.